Today I'm going to be looking at my top 10 cycling YouTube channels. So if you're looking for great content and you're not sure who to follow, this video is for you. Hello and welcome to another video. So a quick confession, I was actually supposed to make a video outside yesterday, but it was absolutely freezing. My hands were like blocks of ice, even though it was bright and sunny out there. I couldn't actually control the camera, so I thought I'd make a video where I don't have to go outside, I can stay in and nice and warm. I've actually been meaning to make this one for a while. So I've been thinking about how I consume video content recently, and I realized that I probably watch more content on YouTube than I do on any other network, whether that be cable, satellite TV, Amazon Prime, Netflix, services like that. So I thought it'd be cool to show you my top 10 cycling YouTube channels that I watch on a regular basis. Now I'm gonna to stick to sort of smaller, more independent channels, although I do love the bigger ones like your GCNs and all the associated channels that come with that, or your Bike Radar, or your Cycling Weekly, or your Park Tool, services like that. But I'll try and keep to the more sort of smaller independent ones. So I've got channels which range from a few thousand subscribers up to over 100,000 subscribers. So stay tuned and I'll go through my top 10 cycling YouTube channels. So these are in no particular order. I'll start off with Juliet Elliott. Now I think I found her channel when I was researching bikepacking in Dartmoor for my coast to coast trip. Now Juliet has one of the most cheery welcomes of any YouTuber I've ever seen. If you've seen any of her videos, you know exactly what I mean. Uh, I think she's a former pro snowboarder and she produces a lot of gravel riding content, but also does sort of road fixed gear, mountain riding as well. Now she's based in Devon. She does a lot of content around Dartmoor and I think she also races, but she does general vlogs. And so if you watch her videos, you can expect content on wild camping, gravel riding. She does also does wild swimming as well. So again, really, really good channel. Next up, we have Katie Kookaburra. I think she's based in the north of the UK. She loves mountains and climbs. I think she does general cycling vlogs and general advice. Uh, she'll give advice to new people new to cycling, people who are using cycling for weight loss, and she also offers female specific advice. So it's a really, really good channel. I think she works for Ribble Cycles now as well, but I believe. So she has a lot of Ribble uh, bikes in her videos. But again, she's really, really good, well put together videos. Then we have Always Another Adventure. Now Simon produces sort of gravel and adventure riding content. He's based in Scotland and his videos are really well produced. They're almost like mini sort of TV segments. He gives advice to new cyclists as well as reviewing kits and general sort of bike packing routes. He covers world and open water swimming as well, if that's something you're into. I think he actually used to work in TV or radio, so he's really good in front of the camera, and his videos are really, really well produced. There's something about his voice that's really nice listening to, really quite soothing. And with Cameron Jeffers. Now, Cam is a young racer based in the north of England. He vlogs his training and his races, but he also does some crazy challenges like racing trains on a bike or throwing darts into a dartboard to decide on sort of cycling destinations. He also races on Swift, and he does a lot of indoor-based content as well. Bikepacking.com. As the name suggests, they produce a lot of bikepacking content, American-based. They do reviews on different kit, whether that's sort of kit or bikes or cycling tech. They offer general advice and they cover events and different routes as well. They also have an excellent website which you should check out and it's got a complete list of all bikepacking related information. So if you're just getting into bikepacking, check out bikepacking.com's YouTube channel and their excellent website. Then we have Fernwee. Now it's a guy called Martin, based in the Netherlands. Produces really good chilled out, cinematic cycling vlogs. He does some crit racing, gravel riding, bike packing as well with his crew. In general, he produces really well produced content, good cinematography and the music's normally excellent as well. Next up is Pathless Pedals. I think this guy's name's Russ, he's based in the United States and his channel is probably most aligned with my own. Now he champions the supple life as he calls it. Basically it's non-competitive cycling and he'll do cycling vlogs, he'll reviews a lot of kit offers sort of general bike packing and gravel riding advice, does some bike touring as well. And it's generally just a really good channel for people who like to ride their bike and who aren't really fussed on how quick they want to go. Now we have Francis Cade, and probably the first cycling vlogger that I actually watch on a regular basis. Now he was based in London, but he's since moved to the north of England. He does all my sort of daily vlogs, which are really well produced with excellent cinematography. Works with a few different brands and incorporates them into his videos really well. I think he's good friends with a guy called Chris Hall you may have heard of. He's done some crazy challenges for charity, like uh, riding 107 kilometres every day for 107 days. And he rode London to Land's End to John O'Groats and back to London again during the Tour de France last year for charity. And Francis will often join him on some of his rides. Now I know they rode across Australia a couple of years ago as well. And some of them videos are really good, so make sure you check those out. Next up we have DC Rainmaker. 
I was probably reading Ray's website long before his YouTube channel was around. He's probably known for his most in-depth sort of reviews on sort of fitness tech. But no, his channel probably covers more sort of tech-related devices like GPS or watches, cameras, smart trainers, power meters, you get the picture. So if you're thinking of buying some cycling tech, chances are that DC Rainmaker has reviewed it. So make sure you check out his channel and his excellent in-depth website reviews as well. And then last on the list is a guy called Adam Hugo. First of all, he's got a great first name. I think I found his channel through his bike packing setup videos. And he was cycling around the world and I think he went through sort of a bit of Europe and then Southeast Asia, sort of China, Japan, then he went across to Alaska, Canada, and a bit in the US as well. And I think he's based in the UK now. Um, but his videos are really nicely put together and they're just general really nice sort of cycling travel videos. Oh, and then one bonus channel I'll let you know about is Restrap. Now, I promise I'm not sponsored by Restrap. I know I do have a lot of their content on my on my channel, but I do generally like their content and like their products. Now, their channel's not just them championing their products, although you will find videos about their different bags on there, but they also offer general advice on bike packing, have videos of their stuff on cycling trips, and they do some longer sort of documentary style videos as well. So, they're my top 10 channels. Now, I'm sure there's some channels that I haven't included that you like to watch. So don't forget to leave those in the comments down below and we'll share that cycling love around. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.